Welcome back. She enters 2016, a brand new woman, leaving her raunchy and iconic dancehall moniker permanently for a leap of faith. Heaven, I want to get to heaven. This after arguably one of her best years as queen of the dancehall, which includes leading a surge of women in the genre, closing dancehall night at Reggae Sun Fest, and declared the artist of that festival. The world appreciates me. But ironically, it was at the funeral of one of the surging women that she received the inspiration to take the ultimate leap of faith, a calling she had been grappling with for quite some time. The former dancehall queen Lady Saw we are talking about now, Minister Marian Hall. Take my voice, but leave my lips so God can read them when I wish. Marian? Yes, thanks for having me. What have you done with Lady Song? Oh, she's lost. She's lost? Yes, she gone somewhere like her. I said, get thee behind me, Satan. She back there too. So we shall not address you as no. Lady Saw from now on? No, the Lord told me while I was in the room that I'm Minister Hall. At one point, I hear evangelist hall mm -hmm. but i'm okay with miss hall or marion hall evangelist will come because i i don't reach this yet i don't think so i mean i'm preaching like an evangelist you know but mm -hmm. he will tell me when all right talk a little bit about the response you've received mm -hmm. since this i mean how, how it, are people it, responding it's, it's it's quite a lot it was so much that i was just locked in the house for a while, avoiding calls. I got so many emails, WhatsApp, like my phone is so, the number is so global now than it was before. I'm getting calls from Belgium, you know, all over Europe, London, America. It, it's, it's wonderful though, yes. it's wonderful. The only part of it that I was kind of scared of was the, um, it was like people bombarding me. Everybody wants a piece of me. Everybody wants you to invest. I have a proposal, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm so-and-so with Christians, Christian here. Be careful of this Christian. Be careful of other Christians. Be careful of some people. They're under the wrong spirit. They're, you know, so I was confused. Like, I'm like, God, talk to me now. <laughs> talk to me now, because I thought I left all that. Lots of You know, on the other side. Even yeah. in Christendom. Yeah, like people warning you about, you know, Christians and, and if you follow them, you just get scared. But I'm listening to the voice of the Lord. Some people are calling mm -hmm. the move mm -hmm. all kinds of things, mm -hmm. negative stuff, mm -hmm. at best impulsive. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? How do you respond? I don't hear, like God just blocked my hair from all the negative, really. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing of other females talking, but I'm like, you know what, God? teach me to be humble you know and this morning I got a scripture from a bishop oh from Pastor Bailey and it was about staying away from certain things you know mm -hmm. so I'm not going down that road but it wasn't it had nothing to do with me I didn't do it the Lord just came and said this is my time and I'm not allowing you to run around anymore and say, oh, I'm going to give my life to you. And it has nothing to do with me. I, I, I didn't have no control of it because when the Lord said, go baptize now, I remember saying, but Lord, it's Monday. All the churches are closed. And I remember saying, if I baptize now based on who I was, this lady who just, you know, God rest her soul, you know, got laid to rest her life. And he said, go now. Mm -hmm. I called my sister and I said, I have to get baptized now. The Lord said I should get baptized now. And she called a lady and the lady called a bishop. And the bishop was on his way home and said he would normally is out of range. And he don't know why he stopped, but he ended up going back to the church and baptizing. When he said go now, you know that if I didn't go now, I wouldn't go tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Because this is something that you had been pondering mm -hmm. for quite some time, mm -hmm. lady. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at, it, at this tape okay. here. Lately I've been feeling more of you know uh -huh. more of god oh, really mm -hmm. and i've been going to church and all them things so you may never know so but me love me dance all you see so god is calling you is he knocking. has been calling me for a long time i was a christian once you know getting a spirit and all them things you know yes. seriously church so you have been baptized before yes you know that over the years when i perform 
and go home. I can't sleep. Only my man knew about it. When I go overboard, it's like I feel bad and I keep humming and talking to God and can't fall asleep. He used to say, Marion, go to your bed now. It ride me. So I will, I'm in it, but don't really feel good about it. So he did still beat me, you know? So I might have to give the rest of my life to him, eh? I am sorry if I disappoint any promoters. I have to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I accept, Lord. I accept, Lord. I am ready, Lord, because you are now ready in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right. So isn't that answering the question of you being impulsive and it's just sudden? Because it had been. Those of, impulsive. Those of us, yes. You see how long that's been going on? When I did the last Sunfest, the one that I closed, everything I asked of the Lord was given to me that morning. Everything. I don't even have to repeat what it was, but mm. I see everything. And that morning, I felt so humble and I felt like an angel. I had no nervousness, no nothing. And I knew from there and then that it's time. And the other shows I do after that is like, you know, I just didn't feel it. And I keep complaining to my family that I need to come off of the road, you know. I, I get tired of the road, I get tired of this job, I get tired of it, you know. Dance all for me was, I started out loving it, but then there was so much hate, envy, grudge, jealousy, lies, betrayal. You know, there were so many women who turned against me because of where I was up here. And it's like they tried to turn the world against me, but because I'm so clean in here, they could never turn people against me no matter what they do. And I just wanted to just leave it because it was, it's like, I can't even tell you, but impulsive, God is not impulsive. When I was at the funeral, I was talking to God. I remember when the pastor was talking about a story about a few people who went to heaven. Like for instance, I went to heaven and I saw you. And I'm like, but God, I we waiting for that door piano empty for people and goat. You know? And I look over there again and I say, but I was Suzette that door here. No, she did keep, you know, or whatever she had done. And the Lord turned to me and said, You know, it's the same thing everybody asking about you. What are you doing here? So right there and then I realized that there's a, a space in heaven for me. And when I saw Jay, they brought the casting up, you know. I don't know if it was me or the Lord who said that could have been me. Yes. And I was like, God, if I should leave, if I should pass away tomorrow and my, my soul is not right with you, where do I go? You know? And I, we start having reasoning, me and God start talking. So I say, so Lord, I want to give my life, yes, but what happened from here? How mega support, you know, because that has always been one of my main factors, supporting the family and all this, you know. And him said, church. Why did you feel the need to apologize to the some promoters. of your colleagues in, in music? The they, promoter? Some of the women in music, some of your co- Oh, your, your... I didn't. It has nothing to do with me. You did not apologize? It did not. It's God do it. Okay. It, let me explain. I was at the church and I heard that Spice and Tifa was there. One was upstairs, one was at the back. So I was thinking how, how we live, you know, that we have to be separated like that. But then I said, God, me can't stay around them people. I know me, I leave. And the voice said, forgive them and love them. And I remember I was doing an interview with somebody, and I said, the Lord said I should love and forgive them. And then like God goes, so boop, and, said, and ask for their forgiveness. I'm like, Lord, I haven't done anything. They're the ones who interfere with me over the years. But God didn't want to hear that. Love has no pride. Somebody tell me that years ago, and now I see what it meant. And like God just put, like him just said, tell it. And I said, and he's, he said, I should ask for their forgiveness. And that is when the three names come up. Okay, so it was forgiveness that you were asking for, and not so much that you felt that you did anything to them that, deserve an apology. Right. I was saying that to Spice God. Because Spice is asking about, she's confused about your she's apology. She's not confused. That's her. <laughs> she's just playing fool to catch wise. 
I am not apologizing for me. In my world, I wouldn't be apologizing over there. Oh. But the Lord tell me to love them and forgive them and also ask for their forgiveness. You know what he's talking about? Me and Spice have been cussing each other on Facebook, we, on, on Twitter. The most nasty things were said between her and I. So God didn't see like, I'm not innocent. She said something, I said something that might have offended her. She offended me, so God okay. said, ask for forgiveness and forgive. Okay. And I, my pride is no, no, nowhere in there because God is dealing with it. Tifa, I don't even know what happened with her, why we become enemies. You know, it has to do with my ex getting a girl pregnant by the name of Trisha, not Tifa. And even when she knew she didn't say anything, I'm good with that. God said, apologize. Maka, me and our same war business. So me apologize and me beg for forgiveness and ask for their forgiveness. If they don't want to forgive me, it's fine. I forgive you all because I'm a new woman and I'm right with God and God accept all that. You know what I say? So it no matter if mankind want to accept it or not or give it. You, you know, when somebody acts stupid like, I'm confused. Confused about what? You and I have been warring for years, cussing each other bad, bad all over the world. People see it. Mm -hmm. So I do apologize for that even to the fans. And talk a little bit about the fallout mm -hmm. in terms of bookings, in terms of recording. Oh. Unfinished business uh, um, for you. Um, hmm. I didn't, as I say, I have nothing to do with it. That just came in and snatched me from the devil, yeah? Mm -hmm. I couldn't do nothing about it, so I'm just paying back people, you know? So you've, paying you've, back. you've lost millions of dollars. I won't say how much I've lost, but I've lost, but it doesn't matter to me. I woke up yesterday, was it, yeah, and I went on my balcony, and I was telling someone on the phone and my sister that I feel so different. I feel so light and happy and new, you know? Like somebody would say, I woke up feeling like a million bucks. I felt more than that. Mm -hmm. I felt like I, the weight is off my shoulder. I don't have to worry about nothing. I don't, people calling me for shows already. And I'm like, no, I don't know what God wants me to do. God is sending me to, mm -hmm. to minister to women. That's what he's doing. And right now, he sent me already. And now he's sending me to a prison because that's what I lay in my bed and I saw. Okay. A prison, and he said, women. And then I went to church because I didn't figure it out yet. I went to church, and when I looked like that, I saw a sign with a prison and a Bible. And like it, the, it was saying, like, these people need Jesus then, or need the word, but there's not enough servants. So the way forward, mm -hmm. in terms of your, your, you talked about a church, mm -hmm. you, you're considering that, mm -hmm. you're accepting the title Minister. Mm -hmm. Marian Hall. Right here. Speak about that for us and the, and the okay. shirt here too much. Right. When I was, when the Holy Ghost was on me, I hear God say, I'm Minister Hall. Yes. It was happening from the closet to the room. And I remember another time I hear Evangelist Hall. And it's a feeding and winning souls for Christ because Christ told me that I would be winning souls for him. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm, I'm doing now. Trust me, it's going to be good. God says it's going to be bigger than me. What's the name of your church? I don't know, you know, you know, hear me say, if I even walk up and down the road side, where I'm you minister were baptized. First, you know. You're not a member of oh, that church? I thought... Yes, I am. I thought you said that church here with me. No, no, man. No, that's, yeah, I, that's all right. I'm oh, talking about the one you're... It's a, a church, Emmanuel, down by cross toward the Emmanuel. My pastor name is Bishop Everton, Everton Thomas. It was a quick run in, you know, God said, go now. Okay. You know, so it's, um, Im, it's called Emmanuel Apostolic but, um, Church, but I like fire church. And when they're praising and worshiping it, nice. And you're fully em em embraced by the congregation? I, yes, but I can't tell you this, though. Do I they really, everybody the trust you? Trust me? Yes, me in the church, the, the congregation. Trust me, like... Because there were, there were some skepticism uh, when others, were the, mm -hmm. you know, Lieutenant Stitchy, Papa San, and et cetera, when they changed and, and, and began to... To, to oh, minister oh. for Christ, oh. some Lu Christian. Lieutenant Stitchy told me, they said, give him, give him two months. Papa San told me, they said, give him two months. Yes. I spoke to Papa San, I'm waiting on Lieutenant Stitchy now. 
governor, okay. he's coming to teach me the word. Okay. He's going to teach me the Bible. Yeah. So you haven't seen any of that yet among your congregation? No, they embraced me down there. Only thing I found that the media and the press was in there one day among us, mm. you know, and I didn't know. So when I was trying to run outside, they caught me, you know. But other than that, listen, I'm true with the Lord. Mm. The Lord has blessed me. Devil, the Satan, him mad, you know, him mad. Satan and him agent, they mad right now because remember who, who I was, you know, and still is a strong, powerful soul, you know. So Satan thought that he had me three years ago. Remember, three years ago I was going to give my life to Christ and I end up over sting. You remember mm -hmm. that? But, but so, so the devil thought that, okay, we got our back. But they didn't know that me and God did have some private reasoning in my closet. Okay, is there anything from your catalog mm -hmm. that is forwarded to Marion Hall's mm -hmm. new mm -hmm. career in music? Because you continue in your music career, yes. right? I've been doing a lot of gospel. You remember I did like eight gospel songs already. Mm -hmm. Glory Be to God was a semi-gospel. And the one was say, take my money, take my friends, take my houses, I don't need my bands, take my smile along with my strength, believe me, Jesus, in the end. That's a big song. You remember this? I did this for Vegas. Mm -hmm. Praise him. In the morning when I rise, praise him is a beautiful song. Heaven was done on the alter ego. Mm -hmm. Yes? And I did also for DJ Smurf, God Almighty. And I just find some beautiful, beautiful track. Three years ago, everything that's happening now, I have a song where I just find back that I wrote that time when God was talking to me and it has, it had deal with the enemy, them bad, mm -hmm. yeah? And all these things and another beautiful song. We're all praying for a better day. And I'm still making songs because every day I'm getting more and more gospel songs. Right now for the enemy, them, me see the enemy, them, oh, from afar. See, they my plan and they my scheme to come start a war. You see it. But if them things say, me they alone. Father God, encamp him, angel, them around me. If he protect him, who oh, them can't touch me. By the way, Tanya Stevens was By the way, Tanya, I'm not mental. She's been talking a lot of things about me. And I don't understand why. Because in Ochi Rios, we live 10 minutes apart. She is in an apartment there, and my house is up there, and she passed, and I saw her many times. I saw her, the, re the most recent time I saw her, she had an asthma attack, and I run to her side. I run to her side, and I asked, what, so, you So know? there were no feuds be no, between what, both here? What happened, you know, I was a big fan of Tanya, and I did a song with Spraga Benz back in the days. Mm -hmm. And I went on stage at some fest and I perform it with him. She was seeing him at the time. And when I went to hug her and talk to her, she turned away like that. But then I still went and spoke to her, hug her up and everything. And when I leave, when I left, like turn my back, she started cutting her eyes at me. But somebody who was walking with me saw it. Then when the day had passed and we went home, somebody called me to tell me, as soon as I walk away, she was like chastising me. So I made a call and said, why would you do that? I just embrace you. You know, I just embrace you and walk away and you talk like that about me. And she said, me don't want nobody no obligation. She didn't say explanation, she said obligation. And now I heard that she's on, on Facebook saying, I, I need to ask God forgiveness for ever being born. I have no problem with being born. I love my life. And I think she's disturbed. I know she's an atheist because she don't regard Christ. She don't know God. So I think she's mad. She's one of Satan agent and she's just mad that God got my soul. He won it. And when she's going to talk about, I should ask God for forgiveness for being born. I remember there was a man by the name of Jerome. He came from France and did uh, documentary, but they call it a movie, it's called Made in Jamaica. And I was the one they called to fly over to France to promote that. A lot of us was in there, it was at the heart of music, our music, where it was from, and our background. And what, what I saw took place in one of that movie theater, when I was there. They write out everything in French, so the French people can understand. And Tanya said, well, I'm from a big family. It was 14 of us. 
and she used big words. She was being very sarcastic. She said, <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, it's so ridiculous. Can one woman make that mistake 14 different times? She's saying that about her mom. The whole room, the theater was like, oh. So who have a problem with being born when you should honor your mother and say to, you know, I, I, I applaud my mom for never having an abortion with any of us. And she brought all 14 of us, 14. And you're telling me that I should ask God for forgiveness for being born? Woman, you're disturbed. You need to find Christ and introduce yourself to him and ask him forgiveness for you ignoring him all your life. And get off me. I'm saved. I'm blessed. And God has accepted me. And I will be one of them in the kingdom. And I wouldn't want to see you passing by down there so and looking up on me and you can't, you can't be reached. I'm blessed, I'm beautiful, I'm loving it. The Lord is sending me all over. Uh, already he sent me to a, a prostitute the other day to minister to her. And I'm in my bed and the Lord said, him just show me the strip. I'm say, okay, Lord, I know where that is. But where do I go? What do I do? I call my pastor and I say, I don't know what to do, but he's showing me that. And when I lay back down, the name come to me. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was an unusual name. I could have gone around there and asked for, Marcia, Marie, you know, people with the same name, like maybe four or five of them, but that one name, God is so direct and unique that he gave me one name with three letters and I found her and he told me to pray for her and hug her really close and pray for her. Yeah, he told me, he gave me other messages for other people. No, he's sending me to the prison. So the, the dance hall fire is not lost. I mm -hmm. mean, by that I mean that- the enemy them, oh, from afar. See them a plan and them a scheme. Which part I got it there? <laughs> we start a war. Come on now, come on now. So it's working for God oh, now, oh, right? Oh, you mean, man, when we done okay. with them, man. Okay, you told me sure. before we came on here that you found a new voice. Yes, a new powerful voice I don't, you know, here. Me mm. say me find one voice there from where the inner my house. Me say, Lord, I will me get this from. Mm. I will, I'll introduce you to all to it soon. Okay. You know, it's a new voice, but... I'm loving it. I'm loving life so much more now. I'm so honored to be a part of God's flock, you know? I'm in there, you know? I'm in there among the other servants. And I thought the Lord was done with me, you know? After the way I behave over this thing, and, I thought, and how I behave on Twitter with that other female, I thought he was done with me. So it shows that God used people like us you know, to go out there and reach out to some people like us too. I can reach up here, down here, everybody, I society, middle class and down here. Who would be a big catch for you from the secular into gospel? Who would you go for, spend most of your energy mm -hmm. trying to get into, into Christendom? Let me explain something to you. I hear fellow artists like pining off other artists' souls, but I think all souls are important to Christ. And I don't think I should go off Bounty Killer soul to try to win him soul or go to Vegas or Shabba or whoever. I think every soul is important, just like life is important. Minister Hall. Yes, and Thank it you. will <laughs> it will come. Thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. Yes. But listen, all of us are kings and queens, though. Because yeah. trust me, yeah. my crown is in heaven waiting for me. And trust me, it not change. The goal not chip off. So if it's not of God, who wants it? You remember I tell him to take that? Because I know there's a crown waiting for me. And we're all kings and queens. And you too. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Minister Marian Hall, right here on stage. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Take my voice, but leave my lips so God can read them when I wish for peace and love from up above. Leave me free to fly like a dove. Take my money, take my friends. Take my house, I don't need my bands.
Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. Rolling around your love winds me up like a hula 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 hula.